group known as Project for Human Development has stressed that the memorandum advancing the rights of LGBTQI around the world by the U.S. President Joe Biden possesses a threat against Nigeria's culture and social cultural values. A correspondent, Jacinta Obiku, has more. At the press conference titled Resisting America Cultural Imperialism, Joe Biden's Threat Against Nigerians and Others, the group says America will be mocking the culture, tradition and laws with such memorandum. This is not the first time that the American government will threaten Nigeria over the observation and implementation of sociocultural values of interest to the Nigerian people. Nigeria is a sovereign state. We have a right as a sovereign nation to decide for ourselves the kind of laws we can enact for ourselves and for our own good. LGBTQI has no respect for the religious and philosophical convictions of the Nigerian people and therefore cannot be imported into Nigeria. Because don't forget that the economy is made is a product of the country. Okay? It may not come from, from the air. It's not by leadership. Where do people do that thing? From culture from the family. You have to think more family. The stress the need for African countries to start building capacities to avoid being dependent. Africa and African political leadership should begin to get it right so that we can move Africa to the path of prosperity. And there's some businesses, and I think that if the West wants to invest in Africa, they should invest in health, they should invest in education, they should invest in those things that enhance lives of, of in Africa. This not all of this cultural issue because the reality is that there is a consensus that this imposition, this gay issue, is not something that is of interest to the average American. The group also called on government to protect the beliefs and interests of Nigerians. As young people, we're saying LGBTQ is not something that's going to survive in Africa. And on this, we are actually calling on every well-meaning Nigerian, parents especially, and also our government to say no to this. Now they are now removing a whole lot of things from African country, the AIDS and all that. Now the popular USAID, USAID is no longer there because of what we are saying no to. There are so many rubbish. So it's very, very important that we need to stand our ground. And it comes to the fact that Africa, we need to stand up and start being a producing country. Laws are made in consonance with the values of people. Every country is interested in protecting its cherished values. Jacinta Ubiuko reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.